and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Sunday, September 21st, 2014 by Gaia Blooming. Our energy mantra for today is, I find peace in my being. And I want to mention really fast that today is the International Day of Peace. So as much as you can today, keep finding yourself back, um, coming back to that peaceful vibration and find the essence of peace within yourself. So there's going to be a few things that may be tempting you out of that peace place today. Um, the first thing is that we are building to the dark moon, the, or we are in the dark moon. We are building to new moons. The new moon is happening on Tuesday, and so we're in the dark of the moon, which takes us really down deep within ourselves, within the emotions that we've hidden away, and can be bringing those up to the surface. We are also on our last full day of sun in Virgo and so we're really being reminded of our lessons of being present in our body and I think a lot of times we like to escape those uncomfortable emotions so you know the astrology keeps reminding us to go back within so just be present with that peace within you just you know sometimes you just need to chant peace peace or um, Shanti, which means peace, and come back to that within you for the International Day of Peace. We also have, we have some fun, fun, I don't know if that's the right word, interesting things happening today. Um, we have Venus connecting to Saturn first thing in the morning. So Venus is in Virgo, connecting into Saturn and Scorpio. And this kind of goes back over what I just said about being present with yourself. Saturn in Scorpio is bringing up our deepest fears, um, our root chakra issues that we've been holding on to. And so this is just being present with them. And what's interesting is that the moon will then be moving into Virgo, joining Sun in Virgo and Venus in Virgo, bringing that presence vibration. Presence practice is going to be so amazing for you today. Whatever that means to you, however you can be present and show up for yourself, so amazing. Um, so what's going to be interesting? Okay, try to follow along if you can. Um, we are going to have Mars and Sagittarius at 5 degrees. This is going to be squaring Neptune in Pisces at 5 degrees. Neptune in Pisces at 5 degrees is going to be opposite the moon in Virgo at 5 degrees, which is going to be squaring Mars in Sagittarius at 5 degrees. It's basically, you know, doing this little triangle of them squaring and opposing each other. Now, squares and oppositions can be tougher astrological, um, I don't know, aspects to deal with. They all kind of want things to go their way. So you may find, especially with Mars and Sagittarius, you may find your control freak coming up. I've been looking at mine over the last couple of days. <laughs> so that may be coming up for you. Um, you may want to, you know, go righteous about what your truth is and how your way is the way. That's very Mars and Sagittarius. And the moon in Virgo kind of has its own agenda about, like, this is how I do things. This is how things line up. And meanwhile, we have Neptune in Pisces, which is like, I'm in the clouds in a dream and life is beautiful. The nice thing about these three planets that are engaging in this energy is that they're mutable. And mutable means changeable. And so if you can find the flow, honor your truth and honor their truth. Their truth is their truth. Your truth is your truth. Find space for that. Come back to peace on that and allow yourself to be in the flow with that. Then you're not going to feel so much fighting within yourself. There also could be the aspects, the part of you that wants to dream and the part of you that wants to do. There's ways to bring this together. I think my favorite way today especially is to go into meditation. You know, the one thing that Sagittarius and Pisces can really agree on is intuition and connecting into spirit and that higher knowing. So if you find those parts of yourself are pulling against yourself, go into meditation. And, you know, one of my favorite questions by Carolyn Nagel, how can this be easy? Ask spirit, how can this be easy? And allow spirit to help guide you through this. Um, let's see. Is that what I want to say? Oh, my also, I also want to say, you know, today, 
with these aspects happening and, uh, you know, some kind of, I don't know, the peace, the International Day of Peace, but also these aspects happening, this might be great to bring into your meditation one of my favorite phrases, which is, take a moment and dedicate it to peace. And so if you find any inner fighting between yourself, between you and your friends, take a moment, breathe it in, and offer it to peace. It heals so much stuff. Um, one last little thing. We are also building to Pluto going direct tomorrow. Pluto is going direct on Monday. And so Pluto is the planet of transformation. This is happening in Capricorn. And so we've been really looking within ourselves. And, you know, right now, I would say in the process, we are this pile of ashes. Pluto is like the phoenix. So we're down to this pile of ashes to be reborn. So today may be a day to really spend it with yourself and doing work on yourself. Don't worry about anybody else's process. Check in with yourself and see how it's going for you. So with that, we're not going to pull a card today. We are actually going to just take a moment and dedicate it to peace. And with that, thank you for joining me and have a beautiful day. Namaste.